Now, your WLKY weather with meteorologist Daniel Johnson. And lucky for us, the weather has been quiet recently, and it's going to stay that way for the next several days. Here's a live look outside downtown Louisville. Very, very nice view out there, especially because of this. Take a look. If you look closely, right-hand side of your screen, what do we have there? The waxing crescent moon setting at this hour. It's going to set at right around 12, 13 in the morning, so just a few minutes away. It's very low on the horizon as it goes down. Pretty cool sight there. 60 degrees, the current temperature, north-northeast wind at 10, so a little bit breezy, and it's been breezy uh, through the weekend. That breeze will eventually die down over the next day or so as the remnant moisture of Ian continues to push away from the U.S. Temperatures just north of Louisville in the mid 50s, south and east still holding on to the 60s, at least for most of us. But we should drop down into the upper 40s to near 50 overnight tonight. The sky clear across the Ohio Valley, but here is technically the ghost of Ian. What is left over becoming a coastal storm here and lots of rain across Delmarva, portions of Delaware, Virginia, Maryland, over toward uh, New Jersey as well. Coastal flooding, strong winds and heavy rain likely there, but here high pressure and control. So clear skies, 48 degrees at forecast, low temperature here in town, a little bit cooler outside the city, bright sunshine for your Monday, a beautiful day. Get out and enjoy it if you can with a forecast high temperature of 74. Here's a look at Futurecast. Not much to talk about. Picture perfect blue skies Monday, Tuesday, even into Wednesday. Hardly a cloud in the sky, except for maybe Wednesday. We'll start to see a few high clouds begin to push in. But I did tease this just a few minutes ago. We are watching the jet stream. A large trough is going to take a dive south. That's going to push Ian out of here. Cooler air. And I mean cooler air will be pushing in from Canada. High temperatures by the end of the week and into this upcoming weekend, 50s and 60s. Low temperatures in the 30s, widespread 30s. And what that trough does, that dip in the jet stream, well, it's going to be warm this Thursday coming up. We're going with 80 degrees and then behind that cold front and that dip in the jet stream, dragging that down the cooler air. We go from a high of 80 Thursday to 62 on Friday. So temperatures drop nearly 20 degrees. Uh, behind that cold front. There's that seven day forecast. Nothing but sunshine and dry skies for the next seven days, but that's a big drop, guys. 80 Friday to 62 Saturday. Don't look now, Drew and Lauren, but yes, that's a low of 38 in the city Sunday night into Monday morning. Well, we can't or, even get mad at that after <laughs> the rest I mean, of that seven it's day. It's a really nice seven day. It's it a is. very one. Very yeah. good one. Thanks, Daniel. Mm -hmm.